Hello, and welcome back to Kim Reads as we continue with Great Expectations. Chapter 12, Helping Abel Magwitch. My convict's name was Abel Magwitch. He had met Mr. Jackers when that lawyer defended him. Jackers had kept him from being hanged, but only on the condition that he leave England and go to New South Wales and Australia and settle there. Magwitch's arrival brought new problems. I decided to face one problem at a time. I told my snooping landlady that my uncle had arrived, but with her revert soon to arrive from a business trip, I would have to find other rooms for Magwitch. The next morning, he ate a huge breakfast with enjoyment and afterwards lit up his pipe with a black, evil-smelling tobacco. Pip, he said, you must have horses of your own and a carriage and a servant to drive you. He tossed a purse overflowing with money on the table and said, now here's something worth spending, my dear boy, and here's more where that came from. I've come to see my gentleman spend his money like a gentleman. That will be my pleasure. I stopped him with a raised hand. This is not what we should be talking about. We must discuss how to keep you safe while you are here. How long will you be staying? He looked up at me with surprise. Why, dear boy, I've come for good, he explained. Dyed hair and spectacles. And all the clothes will disguise me and keep me safe. I persuaded him that a prosperous farmer's outfit would suit his sunburned face and work worn hands much better. Before buying the clothes, I went to Mr. Jagger's office. He and Mr. Wem Wemmick exchanged a look as I entered, and before I could utter a word, Jagger's warned no names. Yes, Mr. Jaggers, I have a visitor from New South Wales. He says he is my benefactor. Is that the truth? I asked. It is the truth, said Jaggers. Desperately, I said, I, I always supposed it was Miss Havisham. You let me think so. No, objected Jaggers, I did not. Miss Havisham may have encouraged this fanciful idea of yours, but it was just an amusement in her sick mind. I was now completely convinced that Magwitch was my benefactor, and I hurried home to rent rooms for him near my own. I brought back the farmer's clothes, but they did little to make him look like an ordinary citizen. That night, he fell asleep in an armchair in his new outfit. I watched him and wanted more than anything world to run away, out of the room, out of London, out of the country. But I stayed, longing for the moment when Herbert would return and advise me. Magwitch would not per permit me to tell Herbert about him until he had seen him and made a judgment about his trustworthiness. But Herbert had been at home more than five minutes before Magwitch knocked me and took out a warm Bible on which to swear Herbert to secrecy. After I had taken Magwitch to his new rooms, Herbert and I talked late into the night. I poured out all I'd been thinking, then made a decision. I will not take another cent from Magwitch, even though I'm deeply in debt and not trained for any profession. The money belongs to a criminal. Herbert shook his head. I understand how you feel, Pip, but you will destroy him if you refuse his money. This is what he has lived for. I believe he would give himself up if he would, did not buy a carriage and horses. I will not get into deeper with him, I cried passionately. I will not spend his money. I just want him to leave. Then if you do not want to be responsible for his capture and his hanging, said Herbert, you must persuade him to leave England. But he won't, I cried. Then you must go with him. I looked at Herbert, shocked. He continued, when you have gotten him safely away, then break with him. Come back and work with me at Clara Rikers. I decided this was the only answer. While I was in the midst of making all these arrangements, Estella summoned me to her home. I am going to be married soon, she said coolly. I warned you, you know. When she told me the groom was to be Bentley Drummel, who I thought of as a repulsive spider, I protested vigorously. Estella shrugged her shoulders and said, It is a suitable match. He is wealthy, and I have decided on it. And that is the end of that chapter. See you later.